unfortunately for you guys, I'm not a professional comedian, but I do have a full head of hair. Oh. No, don't worry, it's just bands. It's just bands. You can say it or do anything offensive or insulting as long as you say it, it's just bands. Your dad's such a slag that his arsehole's bigger than his mouth. Dude, my dad's dead. It's just bands. Oh, you. You're in court today as you stole his clothes, strangled him with his own socks, performed an indecent act on his dog, and defecated on his nan's grave. How do you plead? It was just bounce, you know, now. Come on, that's funny. Isn't it? Like, set up then. I might, not, I might as well just leave. You don't know that. Oh, thanks for the arse. Let's go on to the next one. Right, so I'm from a little place called Birkenhead. For those who don't know, it's like a, a shitter and lighter version of Liverpool. Um, it's just over the River Mersey from the city. I chose Jerry and the Pacemakers very across the Mersey as Jerry and his pacemakers had to use the crappiest mode of transport just to get away from Birkenhead. <laughs> this on the floor. No one saw that. No one saw that. Did they? <laughs> so seeing as we're in a, a school or an academy, whatever the hell that is, I thought I'd talk about my time in school. So you know, our school, happiest days of your life, unless you went to rough our school in Birkenhead. So I've got such fond memories of uh, things like uh, corridor pinball. So that's when the popular kids line the side of the corridor and then push the unpopular kids from side to side. Um, obviously, you can guess where I fit into that equation. Yeah, fucking hell, I girl. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just having a look at the floor. It's good, good call, I guess. a constant rejection from women. Um, to be fair, not much has changed. More sympathy. That's, that's kind of good. Oh, poor me. Awesome. Um, I think for some reason they weren't interested in someone with a high voice. My voice broke particularly late. Thankfully, my balls did drop just on the way to the gig. Um, <laughs> do this comedy thing in the hope that it could be the new Joe, Joe Pasquale, so that's kind of, that's the dream pissed away. I wasn't, I wasn't going to bother, so, you know, I thought I've committed, might as well do it. Um, another thing I remember, sorry, I'm using, I'm looking at the floor a lot. Um, another thing I remember is being kicked in the balls a lot, and I, I mean a lot. It was like our way of saying hello to each other in school. The fact that I don't have any kids kind of proves that. That, that, that could be because I don't get a lot of sex. <laughs> Pedo, it's just a term of endearment. So we had, uh, we also had uh, Fun Boy Bass, uh, Come Chugger Chris, uh, Fist and Freddy, uh, Deep Throat Dan, uh, Marky McTwatface. His, uh, his family were from Scotland, so hence the muck. And then we, um, we also had Pooey uh, Richard. Stuck that one. <laughs> Obviously, not, it, not most heroes that can get that one. Come on. Uh, I don't know what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, very oh, rich. Uh, sorry, my mind's drifted. Uh, I always do this. This is what I do. Um, so, my nickname was uh, C 
semen Sam. Um, I think the reason for that was because it was always knee deep in a lot of water. Oh, I, I was in the Sea Scouts as well. Come on, you bastards. Come on, come on. Shit will get real. <laughs> that's, that's not empty threat. Look at me, I feel like a brick shells. So I'm knocking all the fuck out. <laughs> off the Mars bars. <laughs> but, you know, when, when you're a chocoholic and an addict, you, you just do anything for them next day. It's like, you can't have covered in chocolate. It's just fucking delicious. That's the, uh, that's the Mars bars, not the... Success for my school 
as he gets a steady income of benefits, has managed to stay out of prison, gets way more action than me, and uh, obviously has a good knob rep, which uh, can't be easily dismissed. So, um, another lad from my school is a cage fighter. Um, the main reason for that is he doesn't have a brain. So, so he can deal with severe head injuries like a pro. His, uh, his name's Brian. Uh, not, the, not the best name for a cage fighter. Doesn't really strike fear into your opponents. In the left corner, we have Ricky the Crippler. And in the right corner, swap mic, we have Brainless Brian. <laughs> so uh, when the careers advisor came to my school, it must have been the easiest day of her life. You could just, uh, uh, just get pregnant and live off benefits, um, get a fake tan and be a trophy wife, or an the lumper, um, red boy, uh, trolley collector, um, unorganised crime. So that's when you uh, set up a brothel next door to a police station, or do something else hilarious, what was it? Ah yeah, rob a post office with a pink dildo. <laughs> days of my life, to be honest. Um, look, my parents don't like to talk about it, mainly as they're embarrassed that it was so rubbish at crime. You know, they, they expected a high calibre of criminal from their son. Um, I just remember we got a lot Remember Beck and Ed, he's rough, he's been in prison probably. Um, yep, yeah, he's prison officer. Oh, I know you. Yeah, you're alright. Um, what, what am I talking about? I lost that one. Uh, yeah, so the cage fighter comes and see the careers advisor. Obviously, remember, no brain. So he's kind of staring blankly into the abyss, dribbling just a little. Sorry? No. Oh, well, it's... <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's not like I'm performing or anything. It's not, it's not like I did a six week course to try and do this. He's like, what were you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, what? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> we'll stop that conversation, it's not going anywhere. It's not funny enough. Right, so going back to the cage fire with the crazy advisor, you know, rewind. Remember, I do go off on tangents. I'll be finishing soon, don't worry. And then you can go get some beer and everything. <laughs> Dribbling a lot. What what do you want to do when you're older? Stop dribbling. Doctor. <laughs> Looking at your predicted grades, I think you might be aiming just a little high. Stop dribbling. Yes. Nurse? <laughs> oh. But maybe you could just let people punch and kick you a lot. Stop dribbling. Teacher? <laughs> Ship jokes and submarine shit. <laughs> so I kind of comes to the end of my set. The best one was clapping, will be happy. <laughs> so um, I do have a huge amount of respect for people who teach because it's not something that I can do. Um, mainly as I swear way too much. You can't really say to a kid, that's the fucking wrong answer, you bell <laughs> And that's, that's another reason I don't have kids. Um, right, right, composure, composure. Right. <laughs> so uh, I, I know another reason is that kids can be a little knobheads at times. And I'd rather not 
spent days with them. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Stop.